Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. I'm Diana Stancy. You can't go to a big defense conference without having a look at the latest and greatest on the show floor. So we packed up the gear and went looking for the most interesting stuff on offer at AUSA 2024. Improved sniper optics and handheld targeting sites for troops in the field and updated mini drones, those were just some of the items our own Todd Sal found at this year's show. Here he is with a roundup. So here at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual meeting and exposition in Washington, D.C. And a lot of the things that really grab people's attention are the big platforms, of course, new armored vehicles, new autonomous vehicles, larger and more capable drones. But what the soldiers wear, what those hundreds of thousands of soldiers wear, use to get their mission done, is seeing some really high-tech upgrades. A lot of those are coming through the Program Executive Office Soldier, which is an office at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, that the Army uses to basically test and approve new gear before it gets fielded, and then train soldiers on that gear. Some of the updates we're seeing this year is the, the well-known Black Hornet. It's a, a soldier-borne sensor, basically a palm-sized little micro drone. Think of a tiny helicopter. Really can truly fit in your pocket. Now that system has been out for a number of years, but a new upgrade that they're doing now that could be released as early as next year to the regular soldier is a combined system. Right now, in daytime, you have to use one platform, one helicopter, and then you gotta take your payload off and use a different payload on that same little mini micro drone helicopter for a night mission. The new mission will combine both and offer a little bit more payload capability, basically adding different types of sensors or packages you could just swap in and out on that micro drone. Now, that's the Black Hornet. Teledyne FLIR has actually already developed a new type of larger, even more capable drone that the Army may consider for future projects called the uh, Black Recon. Uh, now that particular drone device is here on display, a little bit larger, a little more capabilities, a little more distance, battery duration, those types of things that soldiers are going to need for scouting out locations, especially at the squad level. Beyond small drones, I mean, snipers are getting some upgrades too. They have the Storm Optic, which feeds ballistic information from a ballistics computer into the actual optic that the sniper is using, so they don't have to look away at another device. That's getting upgraded with even more capabilities in the Storm 2 Optic, now being developed by L3 Harris Technologies. L3 Harris also does the EMVG Bravo. Now that's been out for a number of years as well, but it's still seeing improvements. The EMVG Bravo, the Enhanced Night Vision Goggle Binocular, is the first binocular device for night vision fielded to the vast numbers of the force. Of course, Special Operations has had dual tube, binocular type night vision for years, but the standard foot soldier in any infantry unit is gonna be receiving those if they're not already, I've not already got them. And the new EMG Bravos are getting software upgrades, getting new features added to them as they roll along. Also another L3 Harris technology product. In addition to that, some of the targeting activities that they do, the uh, joint effects targeting system and the laser target locator module, two key things that scouts have used and other reconnaissance and forward observers have used for call for fire, for marking locations. Those are getting smaller and in new packages and, and being developed by Program of Executive Office Soldier for those particular types of missions. Um, they've been airdrop tested, they've been fielded in certain versions, and those versions continue to improve as we see that. Now, one thing that people are very familiar with that's gonna see a small upgrade is the NetWarrior software package. Now that is actually housed on an Android device, usually chest mounted by the soldier. They use the Samsung Galaxy phone. They're upgrading to the newest version of that phone available for testing in the fall, coming years, so there'll be faster features, more data capabilities within the NetWarrior program that's used by a lot of soldiers on many systems, but primarily on the Android smart, smartphone device or a tablet. Those are a few of the high-tech uh, options, everything from optics to micro drone helicopters uh, you know, that you can fit in your pocket to new software type upgrades, new devices to work, run that software to help connect soldiers with all the devices, all the work that they're doing in the field. So these are a few of the tech options here on display, many of them upgrades of existing equipment, some new improvements, um, and we're gonna see those rolling out over the next year or two as they get through the Army's process for testing and fielding. This is Todd South with Army Times Defense News.